Well, everybody, good to see you all. It's Be Set Free at Three. And you with Robbie, it's always a pleasure and it's always a highlight of my week to spend uh, some time with you. And today we're going to preach, build your faith. We're going to teach, edify you. And we're going to flow and get, see healings and miracles done. Miracles with you. Also, this preaching, teaching, and flowing is a double-edged cutting sword. It's for you to receive, to catch, but it's also for you personally to experience. What is this flow, you may say? What is this flow? What is a flow? Well, we all know a river flows, current flows, and I'm going to show you today what flow I'm speaking about. Let's first understand our situation, and let's also, not only our situation, let's also understand where we are positioned. The Bible says, oops, sorry, I'll knock this thing here. The Bible says that in Hebrews 10, 19, it says, having therefore, brothers, boldness to enter into the holy place by the blood of Jesus. The, uh, the, the description is a boldness, a, a confidence to be where? To enter the holy place. The Holy of Holies, in other words. How? Through the blood of Jesus. It has been shed, that blood. In Hebrews 10, 19, Hebrews 10, 20 says this. By the way which he dedicated for us, this new and living way, through the veil that is through his flesh, by which you're able to enter into the Holy of Holies. So when you came to the cross of Calvary, you were crucified with Christ. You died. And Romans 8, 11, the same spirit that rose Christ Jesus from the dead, quickens, brings life to your dead body, your mortal body, resurrects you into a new and living way through the blood of Jesus, resurrects you into the Holy of Holies. Not the outer court, not the holy place, but the Holy of Holies, into His presence. How do you get into the Holy of Holies? Through your praise and worship? No. You praise and worship because you're already in the Holy of Holies. But you enter in through, through the, to the Holy of Holies through the veil that was torn, His blood that was shed, which was His flesh, which has been torn for you. You enter in through the cross of Calvary. And the Bible says this, that in Acts seventeen twenty eight it says, For in Him we live, in Him we move, in Him we have our being. There's a place, there's a position for you in Him. And in Him, in that position, we live, move, and we have our existence, our being. And in that place, <coughs> in Him, in the Holy of Holies, the Bible says in Revelation 22 verse 1, He showed me a river of water, clear like crystal, proceeding out of the throne. And out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. So there's a river in this place where you resurrected. This river flows in a direction out of the Lamb of God and out of the throne. Out of the throne of God and from the Lamb. Big welcome to Brandon Griffiths. From Oatsorn, second my coat And so I'm painting a picture for you. I'm showing you where you are. I'm showing you how you got in, and I'm showing you what is there when you are in, which you are if you're born again. So in this place is a river from the Lamb and from the throne, from the throne of God and from the Lamb is a river that flows. 
And then the Bible says something very interesting. It says, he who believes in me and, and, uh, and has a script and relies on me, as the scripture said, from his innermost will flow continual rivers of living water. So yes, something interesting. I always thought that the innermost being, your innermost being was your stomach area. It's not true. Your innermost being is the place from which you are resurrected. So from the place that you are resurrected into, into his holy of holies, into the presence of the Lord, where there is from, the, from God's throne and from the Lamb, Valerie, good day to you, good afternoon, is a river that flows, but from that innermost place, out of you flows rivers, continual rivers of living water. Continual. You can't pray, oh, let the river flow, Father. No, it flows continually. Just be mindful that where you are situated, where you are resurrected into, out of that, out of you, that's why you can say, that's why you can say the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's why the sick are healed. That's why the oppressed are set free. That's why devils are cast out because of that river of life, that river of light, that river of power flows from you. Interesting. And I hope I've painted a picture. What is this flow? This flow is a Holy Spirit and power flow out of you like a river. From where? From the innermost, the place where you are resurrected into. When does it happen? What do you have to do to make it happen? Well, the Bible says in Deuteronomy 38, 31 verse 8, it says this, Yahweh himself is who goes before you. He will be with you. In him I live. In him I move. In him I move. He is with you. He'll be with you. He'll not fail you. He'll not forsake you. Do not be afraid and do not be discouraged. And that very thought is carried through the cross, from the Old Testament through the cross into Hebrews 13, verse 5, where it says, Be free, uh, be free from the love of money. Content with such things as you have. In other words, have peace, Valerie, have peace. For he said, I will no way leave you, neither will I any way forsake you. So this is interesting. This is a great encouragement to me. That is not by my thinking, is not by my knowledge, is not by my feeling that the Lord or the Holy Spirit is there. It is by Him's nature, by, by the nature and the characteristic of the Holy Spirit, that He is always there, continually flowing, continually moving, continually ministering to you. Yes. To who? To you and those around you. Because it flows in rivers. There's no limit to him anymore. Another interesting thing is that in uh, that his name is Emmanuel. Which means what? Matthew one twenty three tells it means God with us. He never leaves you. Never forsakes you. He's always with you. Continually flowing out of you. <laughs> Not by your crazy prayers or your, your religious dogma. No, because that is just who he is. That's how it's been set up. That's the supernaturalness of his kingdom that is in you. It's at hand when people see you. And the Ephesians 1 23 says this that, that you are in his body, you are his body, which is the full the fullness of him who fills everything everywhere. What what a beautiful thing we have here, the flow. It continues flowing. It's a power that keeps giving. Paul also tells us he places the Holy Spirit, he places the flow in you. And he says this 
in 1 Corinthians 3, 16, when I say he places, he reminds us of the, of the positioning of this beautiful Holy Spirit. And he says this, do not know that you are a temple of God and God's spirit lives within you. There again, there is something very interesting, Brandon. There again, there's something very, very uh, joyful that you have the God of the creator of heaven and earth. You have him who spoke light and there was light, who spoke and things happened. The, the Bible says when God spoke, the Holy Spirit hovered over the earth and gave form to the words of God, creating. And that's what you have in you. You have this creative power, the flow from the Lamb and the throne, the flow that dwells in you, is with you forever and flows continually out of you to get others healed, saved, and set free. And then Paul says, what? Do you not know that you are the temple of God and the Spirit of God dwells within you? That's who you are. You carry this flow. You carry His presence. He manifests Himself today by the flow of the Holy Spirit. He manifests Himself today in you, with you, and through you by the Holy Spirit. It's a new and living way. When you came to the cross, you came natural and you resurrected into the supernatural. The Bible talks about the Holy Spirit as the helper, the comforter, the paraclete, the connection between you and our loving Father and you and Jesus. Bible talks also about the Holy Spirit being fire and river and and uh, and wind. And it's this dunamis, this miracle working power, which we read about in Acts ten thirty eight, how Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit and power, who went about doing good, healing all those who oppressed the devil. Why? Because God was with him. And we've gone through the scriptures of him being with you, never forsaking you. We've gone through the scriptures of this continual flow that he has in you at the moment. And then one Acts, one Acts 1, Acts 1.8 says a beautiful thing. He says, you shall receive power. The same word, the dunamis, when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you'll be his witnesses. You'll do that which he has done. Two sides of the flow. One side is to receive and the other side is to give. For example, let's look at, <coughs> sorry, let's have a look at the lady with the issue of blood that said, if only I could touch the hem of his garment, if only I could touch the presence, if only I could touch his garment, I will be healed. And she touched the garment, she received her healing, she received a draw of power from the presence out of that flow. She received it and, she, and Jesus turned around and said, who touched me? The receiving for you today. Receive it. And then once you have it, we know about the story of Peter, John at the gate, beautiful, that said to the guy who was, who was, who was crippled from birth, he said, silver and gold I don't have, but what I have I give unto you. The receiving and the giving, the flow. You receive it and you give it. For freely you have received, so freely we give. I've got a number of videos posted as well. And, uh, and for you to go and have a look at it and be encouraged about the flow. How when you walk, the presence of God goes before you. Our people who want to partake in the Prince can partake in his power. And it's on my the YouTube channel, Robbie Cancross channel. And just look there for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and power. Just type it in there or on that channel, on Robbie Cancross channel at YouTube. And you'll see some interesting things happening there. Demonstrating the power of God. The power flow. The flow of the Holy Spirit.
And so when I minister, I feel a presence. It's like a vibration in me. God, God sometimes uh, displays his manifestation in different ways. For example, I think William Branham used to get a rash on his arm. Another friend of mine, Rudy Erasmus, a great prophet that's going to appear into this nation, uh, gets it in his hand, in his arm. I just get a feel, a vibration in me over here. I just vibrate, so I know the presence of God is flowing. And so then I flow. I, I, I build faith in people. I edify them. I say, just start to receive because he's able to do it. It's this very same Holy Spirit that gave the earth form. It's this very Holy Spirit that is that flow from the Lamb and from the throne. It's that same Holy Spirit that comes out of you like rivers of living water. It's the same Holy Spirit that rose the dead. It's the same Holy Spirit that Jesus healed by. It's the same Holy Spirit that you can be witnessed by. It's the same Holy Spirit that will never leave you nor forsake you. It's the same Holy Spirit that has flowed through every single revival in every single nation of the whole earth. It's the same Holy Spirit that brings life. It's the same Holy Spirit. It's a flow of the Spirit. It flows in the direction of those that want to receive it. It's ministered. It's given. It's from you to them. And from them to others. The Bible says in his presence mountains melt like wax. And it says where he is, where his Holy Spirit is, there is liberty. There is liberty. And so if you're in this place today and you say, Robbie, I want, this, I want to receive this flow. I need it in my ministry. I need it in my life. I bring today a double cutting edged sword. That you can receive the baptism, you can receive the infilling of the Holy Spirit. At the same time, you can receive healing. At the same time, you can receive freshing, refreshing. At the same time, you can receive that which you can flow in. So it's received and then it's given. There's a Holy Spirit power flow. So let's pray to receive the Holy Spirit and power. Let's pray together. Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I come to you today. I come today in humble submission. I come to you today receiving His goodness, His mercy. Come to receiving your grace. Everything that I come to your cross with today, my Lord, is crucified with you. It's gone. It's dead. The burdens, the pains, the rejections, the habits, the depressions are gone. And now for the second miracle. I'm resurrected through your cross, into your grace, into your peace, into a new and living way, into your presence, into the Holy of Holies into a beautiful, beautiful place called there. And there is a river that flows from you and from the throne of our God. His authority, His royalty flows from Him into me right now. Holy Spirit, I receive your flow, your continual flow, I receive it, knowing that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. Thank you for your supernatural power. Thank you for your creative power. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for your presence power. Thank you for your appearing in me right now. I receive it. This temple has been washed by your blood. It's pure and I welcome you home in Jesus' mighty name. And if you prayed that prayer with me, just start to receive right now. Just start to receive his beautiful presence.
flowing over you, flowing in you, flowing through you. There we go. And as the presence flows over you, so if you, are, if you need healing, you are healed. I say to you, you are healed. Depression goes. Pains go. You've been having tremendous gout pain. It goes now in Jesus' mighty name. Test yourself. Test your knee. Test your knee. Someone had knee problems before this thing started, before this presentation started. Test your knee. You are free. His Holy Spirit is love because God is love. God is His Spirit. Sorry. The Holy, God has a Spirit. It's called the Holy Spirit. He is love, so His Spirit is love. He is peace, so His Spirit is peace. He is health and healing, so His Spirit heals and is health. Just receive right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peter and John said, Silver and gold I don't have, but what I have I given to you. And what I have I given to you right now. I give it to you. Denise and Lovo says, I receive the flow. Yes, brother, it's caught. It's taken. That's what you do. You receive it. You take it as yours. And you flow with it with authority. I see someone whose left eye is all out of focus. Right now, I declare your eye open. Ears open as well. Like that. In Jesus' name. Someone with a heart ailment, a problem in your heart. It goes. And peace comes. There's someone you have a problem in your gums. Almost like a cancer of the mouth that dries up right now. As I speak to you, you just feel a release, a popping going on in your mouth. That's his presence ministering and setting you, f you free. It is yours, uh, Denisa, it's yours. You just go and give. You go and give. You go and flow, brother. Some like to sit and sip. I like to go and flow. And so you can flow like that. And Valerie Pretoria says, no pain in both knees. Received healing. There we go, Valerie. God bless you. It's yours forever. I want you also to share this classical message with those that you know. Those that you know who need healing. Those that you know that need spiritual upliftment. I prophesy to you, Deniso, right now, right now, spiritual upliftment for you. A watering of your spirit. A watering by the Holy Spirit. The flow, the water waters you into a new supernatural dimension like you've never experienced before. There's healing up in somebody's back, your lower back. You have tremendous pain in your lower back. You can only walk for a certain time and you've almost got to sit down. It's too unbearable. That I speak release right now. There it is there. Bang! Stretch your legs out. I see this. I see the, the, the left leg is, is shorter than your right leg. Push them out, you'll see. And I declare your left leg to grow out right now. You'll feel it even move. You'll even feel there's a like a vibration in your left leg. Just growing out. Just growing out. Total release. All the stresses and the strains that you've been accumulating in the office. By all the demands in different directions from you, for you, over you. That ceases right now. And the peace flows. A peace flows over you. Stomach problems cease now. 
In Jesus' mighty name. And Father, we thank you that we could preach your word today to build faith. We thank you we could teach your word today to encourage. And we thank you we could flow in your Holy Spirit today to bring healing and to equip and to make sure people are baptized with the Holy Spirit. If you've prayed that prayer today of the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you've been given a gift. It's called the speaking of tongues. The kiramo rebotelesha haramonte, the kalama receive it right now open your mouth and just start to flow sometimes it should be there immediately with me when I first got baptized with the Holy Spirit it was a few days and then I was able to, sh to open my mouth and this beautiful new language bubbled forth from my inner being from the Lamb and the throne manifest through me no pain Amen. Wow. What a wonderful time we've had. Uh, Vivian, good to see you. Uh, Pastor Rick's a great teacher of the word on the plane. God bless you, brother. If you'd like to watch this broadcast, it'll be, it'll be up on the YouTube channel, Robbie Kane Cross channel. If you've missed any part of it, as well as be on the Facebook, on this Facebook page. Uh, in a few minutes, it'll be live. Uh, not live, it'll be, it'll be recorded for you to go through in your own time. So be encouraged. Be uplifted. And flow. Sean Peters. Flow brother. As you normally do. With the Holy Spirit and power. Eh? He'll never leave you. Never forsake you. Continually flowing. From the place that you've been resurrected into. No one can take that away. Another way you feel not what others say. Nobody. It's been supernaturally ordained. From the beginning beginning of the earth before the earth was you were and so we just thank the lord for that sandy sue i just feel i just feel something that sandy i just speak right now from australia You're watching from australia i just speak now those pains that you had in your abdomen i believe I, i'm just flowing with the spirit of god i just say it goes right now your family member it goes right now this total yeah that's right just breathe out there it comes. Total, total release. And, and Sandy Sue says, Amen from Australia. Wow, I've preached. Listen, I got the grace gospel in Australia. I was preaching in Australia. And uh, the Lord said to me while I was preaching in Australia, you're not preaching my gospel. Wow. And he said, there's only one gospel, the grace gospel of Christ. And from that time, I stopped preaching for a couple of months. And I just started to receive uh, the revelation of of the grace and the, the revelation of the grace gospel uh, uh, I said Lord please give me that revelation of the grace gospel which you did gracefully and then I went back onto television and to preach again Sandy Sue says amen spot on she says uh, I'm South African living in Australia God bless you Sandy God bless you I'd love to come to Australia again to preach we did some great revivals in Tasmania in Melbourne it was fantastic but nevertheless that's my experience with Australia. But I just feel, I just, I'm just going to hold on a few more minutes. I, I normally finish it at, 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 uh, at 3.30. I'm going to hold on for another five minutes. I want you all to, to share right now with, with people because I believe there, there's a wonderful anointing. There's a wonderful healing anointing right now. Huh? There's wonderful healing anointing now. Huh? Let me see this. what this guy says here. He says that, uh, uh, oh man, it's difficult to read these things. The moment moving around, helping people, and I work in suicide prevention, used to go to, to Rama in Rama. I don't know who that is. Some guy said that or somebody said that. Okay, God bless you. The fact, the fact is when you, when you are working in those depressive environments, it's the Holy Spirit that people see in you. It's the light that they see and they come toward on you and with you. Uh, it's that which brings the liberty, that sets the captives free. He said, Holy Spirit and power. Yeah, there's somebody watching right now. You've got a brain tumor. You got, it's actually affecting your sight. And I want you to just to start to receive right now. You'll feel his anointing over you. In actual fact, you might even have a bit of a sweat on your brow right now. 
That's, that, that is not a heart attack. That's the presence of the Lord working in you, working over you right now. Come on, just start to receive. Just start to receive. If you, any, if you have any prayer requests, just list them on you quickly, and I will pray for you. There's a miracle. There's a, the Holy Spirit isn't only focused on healing. He's also focused on miracles. Miracles. Uh, miracles in your body. Miracles in your finances. Miracles in your relationships. Mir just miracles, wherever it happens. If you need is there, draw like that woman that touched the hem of his garment, that touched his presence. Touch the presence today. Draw it in. Receive it. Take it. It's yours today. That's why this morning when I woke up, I said, Lord, I don't have a message today. What must I say? What must I preach? He said, Robbie, preach on my flow. I'll give you what you have to say. I said, thank you, Lord. Here I am. So right now, this is a unique situation. It's a supernatural time together. Oops, I'm getting so excited. I've kicked this table. It's a supernatural time together that we're having right now. Share it with your friends. It's heaven evading earth. It's his presence Coming in. It's his presence going. Uh, this Sandy Sue says, for, for sisters with cancer and alcoholism and my mother with salvation. That's right. So we, that's right. Just start to receive all those miracles, those things that you need, Sandy. God has saved you. And so your whole family will be blessed by that anointing which you have. Uh, just start to receive it right now. You know what it is and we agree with you. That his sister's cancer goes and we'll get a good report from you as well. Just receive that. The flow is here. The river is flowing. There we go. Just receive. It's received. If only I could. If only I can touch the of God. But you can. It's here for you to touch. It's here for you to grab. It's here for you to jump into that river. It's here for that river. is flowing over you right now. What I have I give unto you, and it's, it's a glorious power of the Lord. It's a glorious Holy Spirit. Get your thorny thinking out of the way. That's right. Take charge of it. Let it be. And so, Father, we thank you right now for the beautiful flow. Share this broadcast with those that need it, and you know. Share it with your family. Share it with your sisters, uh, your sister uh, Sandy. Share it with the one who had alcoholism as well. He is love. He does love. And the greatest, the greatest bondage of alcoholism or any type of uh, addiction is this, that people is condemnation. They feel condemned and they can't get out and they feel worse and worse and worse. But I've come to let the captives know today that there is love and there's no condemnation or judgment in him for you right now. There is just a liberty and a set freeness which you, which you get from the presence. Because where the Bible says where his presence is, his liberty. Where his presence is, his freedom. And for whom he sets free, is free indeed. For now there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit represents Jesus. The Holy Spirit represents the Holy, Holy Father. Come on, just receive. Another minute with you today. That doesn't stop the flow. I've just informed you. I've just shown you. When I leave this broadcast, the Spirit doesn't leave. He's there forever. <laughs> there are few people that want to get into ministry right now as well. I can feel it. All you need to say is, Here I am, Lord, use me. Here I am, Lord, send me. Say it right now. That's right. That's right. And He will surely do that. The Bible says, Take heed of the ministry which you have received, that you are well able to fulfill it, or well able, yeah, to fulfill it. So, Father, we thank you today for this flow. We thank you today. For your Holy Spirit, 
We thank you today for your resurrection. We thank you today for where you've placed us. We thank you today for a new and living way. We thank you today for the healings. We thank you today for the liberty that you have set us free. We thank you today that, that all the captives are free. For whom you set free is free indeed. And so we just thank you today, Lord, for that. So if you just joined us right now, and Sue, Sandy, Sue says, yes, the gates are opening today. Amen. They open. They're flowing. The big gates are flowing. The gate opened when you came to the cross. Can we just thank the Lord for that. Thank you, Susie. Thank you for encouraging the others as well. So once again, I request you to share this broadcast with those that you know that need it. Don't be selfish. For freely have we received, so freely give. You received it freely today by the price that is paid at the cross. Share it. If you, if, you, if you don't want to share this, then share your ministry with others. Share that which he has given you. Just share. Just give. Hallelujah. So for those that have just joined in, those that I see people signing up all the time here, for those that have just come aboard, I'm going to post this message as well on Robbie Cain Cross Channel. If you go to Robbie Cain Cross Channel on YouTube, you'll see many miracles. You'll also see many teachings. Also, on the Facebook channel, this very channel, it'll, it'll be there in the next few minutes. After I finish off here, within five minutes, it's up there again, so you can pick it up from the beginning. Amen? Love you lots. His kingdom, His power, His glory, His love, his grace, his peace, his liberty, his flow, his Holy Spirit, his help, his comfort, his healing, his wealth, his provision is yours. Yours by that which you can do? No, but everything that he has already done for you. Wow. Let me just see it. Before I finish, I've got one more message here. I don't know who's it from. It's just very difficult for me to read these today. I don't know why. It's not formatting nice. It says, time, but I know that it is not a tumor. It is just something that is sitting on my head that will not uh, pressure. It doesn't seem to go. Okay, it's gone. Look at me right now. Whoever wrote this, I don't know who wrote this. Is it you saying, no, not you, Adrian? No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know who it is. But okay, so just look at me right now. I as one of the sons of God, as you are through the cross as well. I set you free by me, no, by the flow that comes through me. I set you free through the cross of Calvary and declare that heaviness, that attachment on your head goes now in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. You are free, you are free, you are free. Not by that which you could do, but everything that he has done for you. Amen. Next week, same time, be set free at three. We're going to flow even more. And uh, come and join us at the same time where we'll pray, minister, and flow together. In Jesus' mighty name. Life and peace. Life and peace.